I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to find angle of intersection of two curves. The curves are given by the equation r equals to a ln theta and r equals to a over ln theta. Now these curves will intersect at a point. Now at that point, both these values will be same. So we could equate a into ln theta equals to a over ln theta. So, so that gives you that ln theta square is equal to a divided by a which is 1. Now, so that clearly indicates that ln theta is 1. So we get two things from here. One is that ln theta is equal to 1. Second, which also is that we are also looking as theta as when well, ln theta is 1 then theta is what so if ln theta is 1 that means theta equals to e right so if you write it back this is log to the base e so so that implies that theta is e right so these are two very important conclusions when you are working with this kind of equation. So it's better to figure it out and then work it out. So let's work with the first equation now, which is r equals to a ln theta. Taking log on both sides, we get ln r equals to ln a plus ln of ln theta. Differentiating, we get 1 over r dr d theta. So, in all our polar curves, we are always differentiating with respect to theta. And then we know this is equals to cot of phi, where phi is the angle which the radial vector makes with tangent, right? That's the whole idea. And here, differentiating this ln function, we get 1 over ln theta and derivative of ln theta which is 1 over theta right so so from here we get well we can say cot of phi 1 equals to 1 over theta times ln theta so that is one thing we get on the other hand Let's do the second equation also, which is r equals to a over ln theta. Now, if you take logarithms for this equation, you get ln r equals to ln a minus ln theta. And differentiating gives you 1 over r dr d theta equals to 0 minus 1 over theta ln theta, correct? So, uh, so I, uh, I didn't write ln, just a minute, ln of ln theta, yeah, okay. So, so differentiating this gives us 1 over theta times ln theta. So from here, we get cot phi 2 as equal to minus 1 over theta over ln theta. You see that part, right? Now we need to really find difference of the two angles. So what we are going to do now is write in terms of tan. So we could write this as tan phi. 1 as equal to theta times ln theta and tan phi 2 as equal to minus theta times ln theta. Now remember at the point of intersection ln theta is 1 and theta is e. Do you see that? So ln theta is 1 and theta is e. So we get tan of phi 1 as e times 1 which is e 
and tan of phi 2 is minus e. Do you see that part? Now it becomes easier for us to get the difference of these two angles. We know tan of phi 1 minus phi 2 could be written as tan phi 1 minus tan phi 2 over 1 plus tan phi 1 times phi 2. Correct? Since we know these values, we can just substitute them here. So we get this as equal to, now substituting these values, tan phi 1 is e for us, e minus minus e over, we get the denominator as 1 plus e times minus e, right? So that gives you 2e over 1 minus e square, correct? So that is the value of tan phi 1 minus phi 2. So, so what is uh, phi 1 minus phi 2? We can write down the solution now. So we get phi 1 minus phi 2 equals to tan inverse of this. Do you get it? So that is how we could actually solve such equations. A bit tricky one, but I hope the solution helps you to understand the whole concept. So it becomes easier if we convert them into numbers like 1 and e and then move forward. So that's the whole idea. I hope you understand and appreciate it. If you really like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Share my videos with your friends and send requests. Thanks for watching and all the best.